And so on that point, uh, skipping to page 65 now, he quotes a a P.D. Ostpensky, and he says that man as we know him is not a completed being. That nature develops him only up to a certain point and then leaves him either to develop further by his own efforts and devices or to live and die such as he was born or to degenerate and lose capacity for development. So, of course, if we were born completed, then we could be studied, and we could be just like astronomy. But because we are left with all kinds of things to develop, and that development is fueled by our free will and choices, that leaves science unable to uh, completely predict what a human being will do or any other self-aware being. And on that point, too, on the same page, he makes an interesting point about what psychology used to be for. He's, he mentions that psychology is not, this is that same Ospensky person. He says that psychology is sometimes called a new science, but this is quite wrong. Psychology is perhaps the oldest science. And he mentions that, sci- that psychology was uh, discussed much in religion for the opposite reason that psychology is discussed today. So he says that psychology was primarily concerned not with sick people who had to be made normal, but with normal people who were capable of becoming, and indeed destined to become, supernormal. So he's saying that when, I guess when religion was discussing psychology, it was concerned with making people better than they were, whereas today psychology is mostly concerned with the abnormal and trying to make them normal or mitigate some of their circumstances, some of their mental health concerns, to try to make them normal. But psychology is very little of it is done on improving the normal. And apparently that's what religion used to do.